Why is Jesus, the sinless Lamb of God, being put to death on a tree? It is not for his own sins because he is the sinless Lamb of God. It is for his people's sins. The Bible says that he became a curse for us. Christ Jesus is giving up his life, laying it down when he was nailed to the cross, becoming a curse for us. The Bible says that he who knew no sin became sin so that we can become the righteousness of God in him. It's this great exchange. It's the just for the unjust. This is good news, my friends. The only way to be saved is Jesus Christ. The only way to be reconciled to God is to humble yourself before God, confess your sins before a holy God, and repent and trust in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. It is the God-man who gives up his life on the cross and dies, receives the wrath of God in our place because that's what we deserve. When Christ is on the cross, he's swallowing up all the wrath of the Father for our sin. It pleased the Father to crush His Son, the Bible says in Isaiah. There's no more wrath for His sheep. There's no more wrath because the Good Shepherd gives up His life for the sheep. Is He your Shepherd? Is He your Savior? Is He your Lord? Is He your God? And this same Jesus who died on the cross three days later rose from the grave. He ascended to the right hand of God the Father 40 days later, where he sits now at God's right hand. And now he commands all people everywhere to repent because he has fixed the day when he will judge the world in righteousness. And God has made it known who that man is by raising him from the dead. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, and he is King of Kings. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we implore you, we beg you to turn from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ and believe in him by faith, in faith alone.